So, hello and welcome back to my channel by Chronicles that I'm doing here in Wales. So this is the sixth chronicle and this one will be the last one, the last one that I'm making. And uh, this is because today is my last day and today I am leaving, meaning today I am packing and tomorrow I am leaving to be completely honest with you. So I've been trying to settle all of my things down because I have a lot of things to take care of and uh, I have a lot of projects that I've uh, been having to make. So I've been in a position of actually making them and making them happen instead of just uh, laying around and uh, uh, resting from the from the time I was sharing with Luke, which was uh, well interesting. It was very very interesting time, but uh, at the same time, I feel like I already said it's much better to be alone. It's much better to be alone. Well, anyway, what I want to point out is that I've actually been very very grateful for being here for being in this community, although it's a small community. There's not a lot of things that people do together. It's like a village where everybody keeps to themselves. It's called Lammas Eco Village, and it's in uh, Wales, in Wales, in the southern part of Wales. And I've been staying here for about two or three weeks now, which is actually great. It's always super fun to find a refuge, to find a place to be, and to find uh, basically a safe place to be, a safe place to be, where it's warm, it's nice, I can make a fire, and it's super duper different from the times that I was on the streets or traveling or anywhere else. As I like to point out that uh, I see my life is as a constant change, as a constant change, and this is actually very, very richening. It's very, very richening to have a constant change in your life. Um, so, what I would like to say is that probably this uh, episode or this sixth episode of the Chronicles isn't uh, going to be that long one. Because I feel like I still have a lot of things to do. I have to pack my stuff and see how I can figure my stuff out. Because I have so many things and I don't have Luke anymore who can drive me around with car. Um, I have about three bags and a guitar and the weather outside has been very, very gloomy. Um, so my trajectory or the way that I move next will be that I will be going to Bristol. Melissa, who is the lady I am uh, staying, whose farm I am staying on, whose farmland I am staying on, she will be taking me into a nearby city and uh, and I will be hitchhiking out of Wales and going to Bristol. And uh, then I will either go and meet my friend on the way or I will just basically go and uh, find my way into another country. I will be going to Spain because it's too gloomy and too bad here. It's just raining all the time and I feel like it's the time when... It's the 2nd of November, so it's the time when things don't really go better. Everything only goes worse, colder and all of these things. And since I haven't found myself like a big and nice community to stay in um, while being here in this country, then I thought I will just go into a warmer place and see what happens there. I mean, my big dreams is actually to go to a horse farm and to do more horse whispering as I was going into an... Uh, horse riding place in the north of Wales, in Snowdonia. Then we will, we were uh, going around with horses, and I haven't been doing this for a long time, but I used to be doing this when I was younger. 
I used to like to teach horses and to help horses who were struggling with uh, stress disorders and uh, fear disorders and mistreatment disorders. So I thought this is a thing that I would actually like to be doing again in Spain. There is a lot of horse farms there. So I will probably be, I mean, I already have a place where to go. I will be going and joining one very, very nice community from the WorkAway platform. So WorkAway platform is a platform for travelers who can just, who want to go around the world. It's like a platform where you can find a little work, little job to do, and uh, you find accommodation, you find uh, people accommodating you, and you find uh, all sorts of places there. You can find uh, families or communities or basically anything, anything, and it's all around the world. So this is one of the places where I'm going. One of the places where I'm actually... Um, I got a very, very quick uh, response. So then I saw that the plane tickets were also about uh, 20 pounds or so. Um, and uh, this is why I had to finish one of my projects very quickly. To be able to um, offer myself a ticket. And I'll hopefully manage everything and then find myself in Spain somewhere in uh, next week or, or week after that. Probably next week. Well, this is the good news. This is my plans. And uh, I'm very, very happy to have been done these uh, Wales episodes, these chronicles that I like to be doing. And uh, I just wish that uh, everything goes well for you. For me, for everybody who is traveling out in the world, that the uh, world uh, travelers business can still continue well, and um, that uh, that that the weather will be good. That the weather will be good. This is always a good thing to say when you don't come back with anything else. So basically, that's it, and uh, probably see you. Next time, somewhere in Wales, maybe I will be uh, somewhere in Spain, as the camera is doing this funny stuff. And uh, maybe I will be taking a little bit of time off from this uh, camera business, from this video making business, and um, just allow myself to rest a little bit from this thing. But, you know, you never know. If something interesting happens, then you probably just want to put it out there. So that's it, and uh, I'm going to have a macaroni now, so goodbye.